it's Christmas Eve. Once again, Mom's away on a business trip, and we're stuck with Grandpa for the holiday. Why is the wind so loud today? I can't hear my shows. Christmas. Humbug. Our house will be the only one without any decorations on it. We'll be scrubbing dishes while everyone else is getting ready for Christmas. Hey, morning, Steph. You want to go get the mail with me? Is it Christmas time? Yeah. And we're going to have a great Christmas this year. I just know it. Well, anyway, I knew this was important, so I thought I'd bring it to you. What is it? It's an invitation to a big Christmas party. Christmas party? You don't need no Christmas party. You've got me. Ha! I'll put on a red shirt. I don't have a red shirt. I'll wear this shirt. Come on, you and me are going to that party tonight. But Grandpa said we couldn't go. No, he said he wouldn't take us. He didn't say we couldn't go. I know it doesn't help anything, but I think we're lost. Why would you want to help us? Well, because... I'm an angel. You know, since you're an angel and all, I thought you'd have a fancier way of getting us to town. Don't you have like a Christmas sleigh? What brings you both to such a gloomy forest on Christmas Eve? I wanted to have a real Christmas this year. And I want to know what it means. Christmas is all about giving. Or in our case, getting. You know what his problem is? I bet he's never had a real Christmas either. It's all about toys. It's a day when everyone pays attention to you and gives you the toys you wanted. It's like having a second birthday in the same year, that's all. I guess it just feels like the people who really needed something didn't get anything. But the people who already had everything just got more. Right now, you're seeing through a window in time. You're seeing the very first Christmas. Something that happened over 2,000 years ago. God would like very much for you to know what Christmas is about. Christmas, just like the rest of the holidays, is all about how much food you can cram into your mouth before the party is over. Aren't you a little goofy to be an angel? If I had appeared to you any less goofy, you would have run down the hill screaming. A person only looks for a path after they realize that they're lost. Wait, um, stop right there. Uh, I'm warning you. They're magic teeth. They scare away bears. You know what I saw tonight? I saw a bunch of goofballs having a big party for no reason at all. And I got so much, while other people got nothing. <laughs>